Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello, farmers. Update is here for Farmer's Dynasty. 987 is out. And you can see we're down at the farm machinery shop. And we're down here at this farm. Well, retail shop, whatever you want to call it. Down where we've been buying all the new stuff. Because, yeah, there is some new machinery in the game. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at, and I really haven't done nothing but other look at it myself. But it's a Boxer GF XL, which is a, a cultivator. Yeah, another cultivator. Because uh, <laughs> we don't have enough cultivators, apparently. But, you know, I'm here for you. So, yeah, we're down here. 8,000 euros to buy it. So, yeah, we'll buy it. I have actually bought in a field that is plowed. Because I, I don't have any fields that are plowed at the moment. So, we do have a field that is ready to be cultivated. And apparently, i got to get more square than that. I was going to say, it does hook up to the tractor, right? So, in this update... Oh, let's see, where do I got to go? I bought uh, this field over here. Uh, yeah, the quickest way is right. Right, okay. So, not much to this update, really. You know, I could just buy this field right here, but... And do it. But we got to test the other one out, because apparently they also fixed... The cultivator in the previous update which we will try out as well so don't uh, in this episode this is just gonna be about the update this is not gonna be no episode about a day on the farm we're just gonna look at the new stuff what they fix which unfortunately isn't much uh, yeah so you're looking at this piece of new equipment right here of course, everyone's looking for the drivable lawn tractor. Um, yeah, well, I think the tone of my voice... Well, you'll you'll see what I'm trying to get to when we see it. It's uh, Anyways, uh, <laughs> but uh, they did fix the Amazon 4000 kg field functionality. We will see shortly. Uh, fix bad terrain reflections to ambient and environmental cube bamps. Or, yeah, that's what these got written down there. Uh, I don't know if that's where the terrain would appear and disappear. If that's part of it, I hope it is. And there's about maybe seven or eight things where they change the hues and all that kind of stuff with visual effects. Uh, the bloom. Uh, some water shaders and it's basically just under visual effects uh, nothing I'm going to read there seems rather important it probably is but you'll just see you'll just see visual changes more the, the sky is going to look different in the morning evening different kind of hues and that kind of a thing but I'm just trying to figure out why I need another cultivator. I mean, we can only we only got two plows in the game. And how many different cultivators can we own? There, there's three different cult. Well, actually, four. You got the one you get in the original quest, the Haro. Then you get the original Amazon cultivator. Then we had last update's cultivator, and now we got this cultivator. And the first Amazon cultivator, you can buy up to three of those. But yet, I can only have one big size plow. And, you know, let's just, let's just get this out of the way because I am really disappointed in this riding lawnmower. So, the funny thing is, I, I did have a look at this. So, you just saw me. We bought this cultivator for eight grand, right? Here is the riding lawnmower. Are you excited yet? Okay, now no, no, watch this. Let's buy the lawnmower. Eight grand. Uh-huh, eight grand. For this thing. 
And really, if you look at that mowing deck, I mean, I think the wheat trimmer would do just as well. I mean, I want to buy it because, you know, we got to try it out. But we'll get to that in a while. But I mean, you know, it may function fine and everything, but graphically and the way it looks, I, I, I could have waited another month or so before you brought this out. That is kind of... When I bring that up to the farm, that's going to be parked in the barn. I'd rather have the Jack Bear outside. That looks so much better than that. But any hoozle. Let's see if this cultivator works. Alright, so this cultivator works. Now, I don't see... Other than it's a different cultivator than what we had. It's not, it's not like it's a lot wider or... I mean, I guess if you have a preference of how you cultivate things... I guess my question would be, I'm just trying to look at it, is it, can it plow then, is it a plow and cultivator? I don't think so, but you know, I'm just trying to see what the benefits of this cultivator would be. Uh, the field is 97% plowed. Let me just go around the edges. Yeah, see that the plowing is not being changed. So it's not like it's plowing and cultivating. Yeah, so I'm not seeing too much excitement over this cultivator. At least for me, I'm not. Yeah, so, you know, I I understand they're trying to put new equipment into the game. But another cultivator just seems to be... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Wasteful, as far as I'm concerned. Because no one's going to buy all the cultivators because it's not like I can hire it's different than than uh, FS uh, farming simulator where you need the equipment to hire help to work on your field in this game when you hire help it they don't need have to use your equipment so it's like it's not like I have to buy three different cultivators to get fields cultivated but this is the new cultivator uh, I don't think I need to go over it too much more than what we just shown because it's a cultivator. Uh, <laughs> it's nothing more, nothing fancy as far as I'm concerned. And uh, I'm going to compare it to uh, the original Amazon cultivator. Not the one that just got brought out last month, which we do know is a bit bigger than the original Amazon cultivator. But this cultivator is not any bigger than the original, I think. And as for the update, uh, they didn't say anything about the cultivator harvester cultivator, whatever you want to call it. Um, nothing about it being able to keep its color that you paint it. So I don't think I'm even going to try that. Let's bring this up to our parking deck. Now that I got four cultivators myself. I think all oh my cult... No, my other cultivator is down at the other field. That's right. But as we know, if I can remember, I remember it's just a little bit smaller than this cultivator here. So if I back, back this up to the newer Amazon cultivator actually I would say this uh, the model number of this is the cultivator boxer GFXL is probably even smaller than the other Amazon cultivator that we have down at the other fields all right let me park this up here this cultivator That I spent eight grand on that I don't think I'll probably ever use because it's really that small. 
All right, so we know that cultivator hooks up. Does it hook up to the seed roll at all? Do I need to lower that to hook it up to the seed roll? No. So in case you're trying, to, if you're not sure what I'm trying to do, in real life, this cultivator hooks up to this seed drill so you can cultivate as you seed. So, no, you can't. I'm, I'm trying to, it doesn't attach to that seed drill at all. Alright, so I'm going to head back on down to that field. I'll see you down there in a second and we'll see if this cultivator actually cultivates. Alright, the moment of truth. Let's lower this cultivator down. Hey, and it cultivates. Now this cultivator I will use because it's the biggest of them all, at least what we have in the game. Yeah, so it is definitely much wider than the ones that we have uh, in the original. So obviously for my liking, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be using this one. Bigger the better. I'm um, just... Uh, was kind of hoping that it would hook up to the seed drill so it I don't want to say it cuts down a process because you're still cultivating as you seed just that you get to do two of the processes in one by cultivating and seeding at the same time but it looks like that will be a no-go for now but yes at least I got last month's new equipment working I mean, it looked like it was doing everything fine last month when the update came out. Just that it wasn't changing the texture of the ground. And it wasn't changing that you were actually cultivating the field. Uh, it, do, it is counting it now. I mean, it's changing the, the color of the soil. So it is actually counting towards cultivating. Yes, it is. Numbers are going up. So that means it is actually registering. We're going to leave that there for now. Um, I'm going to have to have a hamburger so I can run a little faster. So, we have this lawnmower now. Oh, come on, guys. Really? You're using the same sound effect as the weed strimmer? Wow. Wait, change. So, okay, wait a minute. The mower, if you see it up in the left-hand corner, press Z to start mowing. I'm not even mowing yet, and it's already got the sound effect as I'm mowing. Well, for giggles, can I mow out here? Am I mowing or not? So it does, you know, you can mow anywhere. Wow, look how fast this thing. Wait, I can do 20 kilometers backwards, but I can only do 15 kilometers forwards? Alright, let's I gotta turn that mower off. Um Yeah, it is off by the way because it says press Z to start mowing. So I can I'm in cruise control, I'm doing fifteen, press forward, I can only do fifteen. You know what? Sounds like I can go twenty kilometers. 
I mean, I can go faster backwards than forwards. Any of you play World of Tanks? Does this remind you of the Swedish uh, TDs at all? Just saying. I don't play World of Tanks, but I, I do keep up. I used to, but I do keep track of that. But uh, yeah, in World of Tanks, the Swedish TDs actually draw, uh, go faster backwards and forwards. I, I do believe, but yeah, I feel like an idiot driving the lawnmower backwards, but you know, I'll get back home faster. The wife will be pleased that I spent 8,000 euros on this uh, wonderful piece of equipment. But really, you know, when I got home and saw the update was here, I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I couldn't wait. And I said, well, let me just check out. I wanted to see where things were, so I started recording about the update. I wasn't faffing about just running around trying to figure out where the stuff was. And when I saw this thing right here, yeah, it was rather disappointing of the textures and the graphic and the looks of it. And then when I we actually saw my re heard my reaction at least when I got on and started up, and we're using pretty much the same sound effects as the weed streamer. Uh, at this point, I wouldn't mind crossing this little stream here, and the lawn tractor sinks out of sight. And uh, now, so much for that. <sighs> Honestly, you know, the first time I do the lawn, I may use this, but more than likely I may use the weed trimmer over time. Because honestly, I don't see where it's actually going to cover much more area than the weed trimmer does. Seems to mow better around the yard. Unfortunately, right now, my yard is quote unquote mowed. Can I, uh. Yeah. So this is the new riding mower that a lot of people have been looking forward to. But, uh, yeah, if you just listen to it. And now, if I do this. Sounds just the same. I mean, yeah, you can probably cover more area faster with a riding mower. But I'm sure a lot of people are expe were expecting more of this. Yeah, we're going to go park this up in the shed, I do believe. <laughs> I do believe we are. Um, I don't ever really use the silo in here, so we can actually park this in here. And where did I jump out? I'm in... Okay. That's fine. So basically, that is the update. Um, yeah, just just a, a mower, a new cultivator, and fix the cultivator from last update. Uh, nothing about being able to fix more buildings. Um, no apples being picked from trees yet. No NPCs working in their fields yet. Uh, nothing there about being able to hire help in the fields that we are not able to hire help in. 
uh, yeah, there's a few things that were still missing in the game that the devs said would be in the game and it's not there yet. But, uh, at least we got this cultivator now that actually cultivates the bigger one. So, that is a welcome sight. But, for one update per month, I would say these updates are lacking quite a bit. Uh, to me, it's getting a little bit disappointing in the updates. So I'm not really sure what's going on with the developers. I'm not saying that the updates are not hard to do when it comes to... I mean, I'll, I'll actually go over the visual updates. Adjusting the tree shadow render by the LOD boundary. Tree LODs also cast shadows now. Improved normal probing params for water shader. Improved ambient and reflection contrast. Improved the sky intensity, hue, and haze. Improved light balances during morning and evening. Improved environmental reflections, intensity, and tone hue. Sharper and less overflowing blooms. Improved tone mapping, HDR pipeline, and overall screen levels. That's the visual updates. The bug fixes are, quote unquote, the cultivator that we now have that works and fix bad terrain reflections to ambient and environmental cube maps. Now, uh, I'm hoping what that means, and I see it once in a while, like you could be looking at this hill, and all of a sudden that hill will just disappear, and you can look under the map, and it kind of like turns everything blue. Um, you can also see that happen in the distance where it looks like there's a pond there, but it's just that the, the, the floor of the map, if you will, has disappeared. And of course the two new vehicles which is the riding mower which I'm hiding in the in the barn at the moment and the other cultivator which I'm trying to figure out what the use of that would be only because you just gave us a cultivator that was bigger which you know I, I of course I like that uh, but why give us another cultivator that seems to be smaller than the than two of them, but only bigger than the Harrow, and that's even questionable, because that Harrow does cover a big area. Not not like this, but it does cover a bigger area than what you think it would. So now, if I'm not misunderstanding, if you buy all the cultivators that you can, I think we can have up to six cultivators on our farm. I guess if you own all of the fields, you can leave a cultivator like in each section. That way you don't have to lug a cultivator around, I guess, if that's what you want to do. But if that's what they're shooting for, then why not let us be able to buy more plows? I'm just not sure where this is going. Uh, I'm looking for more of the base game updates. Like I said, you know, being able to pick apples from the trees. Seeing the other farmers work in their fields. Uh, being able to hire help in all the fields. Uh, I'm just not sure when they plan on fixing those things at all. So until they do, you know, I hope they don't figure that, you know, after the next update or two that it's going to be a release game because... To me, there's some things that still need to be fixed and addressed that haven't been. And I was also kind of hoping that when they release the mower, that the fields that we can plant grass in, or, or you know, you can plant grass in every field, when, when is that going to be fixed? When is, when is it going to be okay for us to plant grass, actually be able to mow it, and bale hay? But... I don't know, that's been that way since the game game came out last December. Um, so this is your uh, .987 update. Uh, needless to say, as for the update, the only thing I find good about it so far is they fixed the cultivator from last update. Uh, as for the rotting mower and the new cultivator, don't care about it. Uh, but that, that's just my opinion. Uh, some people may like the new cultivator. 
style and all that, but not being as wide. <laughs> if it was as wide as this one, I would probably be, be like, okay, well, it has a use for me, but being as narrow as it is, yeah, I'd rather use uh, the 4000. Uh, one, the only thing out of it so far, also now I own another field. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I'm not quite sure. Now yeah, let me get this piece here because my OCD will kill me. There we go. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure. Uh, I think the next update we're supposed to get uh, the dog. I believe that's the November update, and I think the last update is model changes. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Model changes and updates, so. I don't know if like the cultivator, if they're going to fix where you paint the cultivator and it stays that color when you reload the game. Things like that. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this, ep uh, or this episode, this video of the update. Uh, not much to go over. A lot of visual changes. Many people may not even notice the visual changes. I haven't noticed them as of yet. But, you know, it's, it's subtle things like that. I mean, it's improvements, yes, I suppose. But, uh, so yeah, you got your two new vehicles. Uh, they're both at different stores, and they fixed the cultivator from last episode. Uh, last episode. Last update. Yeah, I'm just a little... A little, a little disappointed in this update, really. I was expecting more from the riding mower. But uh, it is what it is. Maybe they'll fix that next update and give it more texture more personality if you will I mean a, a different sound effect than what the weed streamer has would be great uh, but that's going to do it for this video guys hopefully it was helpful to you uh, I'm not sure if it was enjoyable or not so <laughs> uh, yeah so well, I guess we'll have to wait until the next update to see what happens then but in the meantime, I'll be putting out far, uh, a day in the farm video every other day like I always have been. We got some more work to do on the farm. This is kind of, uh, we're in the same day as the last episode. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, uh, yeah, check out my videos of Farmer's Dynasty, a day in the farm. I only got like 160 of them or so, something like that. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate you watching as always. And uh, I'll catch you in the next update video or, for your regulars, uh, the next video on the day on the farm. But until then, have a good one.